Well, tonight, local authorities are warning the public when it comes to leaving valuables in the car. That's right. Police say it's smart just to keep your valuable, valuables out of sight or don't leave them in the mm -hmm. car at all because sometimes even a locked door won't keep crooks from ripping you off. News 4 Tucson's Ali Potter live at Tuma Mock Hill right now with more on one mom's plea for help. Ali? John Angelique, you know, when you hike to a mock, a lot of these visitors come here and park along the streets and police say to make sure to leave those valuables out of sight. Unfortunately, I did speak with a mom who learned that lesson the hard way. But all the glass was broken inside of my car. Joanne Schultz describes what she found when she got back to her car after hiking to a mock hill. She admits she left her purse in the front seat and when she came back, it was gone. Samsung watch was in there. Uh, my military ring was in there, both because I don't wear them when I walk. Those items were all inside Joanne's purse, but so is something that you can't put a price tag on. It's a vial of my daughter's names. Joanne's stepdaughter, Kaylee Schultz, passed away last year at the age of 23. They used to hike to a mock hill together. I'm devastated, and I don't care about the things. I really don't. I don't care about what was in the purse. It's replaceable. Uh, she's not. Joanne has a message to the person who stole not just her purse, but her daughter. I seriously don't care about the stuff in there. I, I just want our daughter back. And now a police report was a file. Joanne does tell me that. She also says she will be back to hike here to Amok on Thursday. She will be leaving those valuables out of sight and reminds you to do the same as well. Now, as for the person who did steal those ashes of her daughter, she just says, please, please return them. No questions asked. Live at Tumamak Hill, Allie Potter, News 4 Tucson. Allie, thank you.